I'm a member of a very large family. I was the first one in my family to have a child. So there was a, a, a lot of um, attention focused on, 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 on the, the first grandchild being born. When I had my first son, I was just completely overjoyed. My name is Sandy, and this is my story. To feel him in my arms for the first time, to look at his face and to feel his weight in my arms was just, I just felt this overwhelming sense of just love. And I just knew that I needed to protect this little baby. And that would be what I would do in life. I would do anything to protect my son. The doctor also said, if things go well, he may live to be five years old. And I was just completely devastated to hear that from the doctor. My husband and I are at the hospital and we're just trying to console our son at that point because he hates being in the hospital and he wants to run around and he's confined with these tubes and everything else. And I was pregnant with our second son at that time and I, I just wanted my two sons to grow up together. I would do anything I could and made promises to God to anyone who would listen to me. So my question was, well, how did it happen to him? Why, why him? We had a wonderful celebration when he was five years old, um, and it was very special because my whole family was there. There's nothing harder to see your, your baby so sick, and even though it's been many years later, and I'm really happy to see that he's lived a normal life, and that's what I wanted for him, to live a normal life. Working at BMS is really personal to me because as I do my work every day, and I work among my colleagues, whether they're in research and development, in our commercial group, in manufacturing operations, or in our enabling functions, Everyone is so dedicated and so focused on doing everything we can to help our patients. 